Hey guys, welcome back to my Visual C Sharp tutorial. Uh, in this part, I will show you how to use the combo box. So, select the controls you added by now and pre click delete. Oh, press delete, not click. Go back to your code and delete the old code. And uh, go back to your form. And uh, edit text box. And the button. Add a combo box. And another button. What we will do is to uh, type uh, something in the first text box. We will click the button and uh, this item will appear in the combo box. Once, we cli once you click the second button, the selected item in the combo box will be displayed in a message box. So, click the first button and now type combo box one dot items dot add. As you can see, uh, it works just like a list box. Uh, text box one dot text. Go back to your form and uh, button two double click on it to switch to his code and uh, type message box that show combo box one dot selected item dot to string open parenthesis close parenthesis and close parenthesis again and uh, press F5 now as you can see the combo, bo combo box is empty it has no items so we'll just type here uh, item 1 and click on the first button as you can see an item appear in the combo box item 2 click on the first button the second item has appeared in the combo box uh, sheep click on the first button and another item will appear in the combo box named sheep now click on the sheep and click on the second button to display the selected item in the combo box Okay. Uh, also, you can select the combo boxes items by yourself. Just click the little arrow, the little arrow right here in the upper right corner, and select Edit Items. Click and edit items. Sorry. And uh, enter the strings in the collection, one per each line. So item one, enter item two, enter item three, etc. Other etc and then click OK. Now de uh, debug your application and uh, check out the combo box. It has the items you added by yourself in the application. Also, uh, you might have noticed that the user can insert his own value here my own value and uh, Yeah, uh, that's not really nice because uh, your app uh, is going to uh, crash if you do that. So uh, go back to your form, click on your combo box, and go to its uh, drop down style property and set it to drop down list. This way, the user can't change the text, it can always select one of the items in the combo box. Debug your application again. And uh, see, you can't type nothing here. Select an item, and um, well, that's all for today. Uh, see you later, guys.